I said, Are you sure? I said, my name is. I told her my full name. Like, check again. Where'd you go? Do you know how I've been living without you? Your girl is back with another video. I decided to do a sit down video for y'all and give y'all my testimony of what I've been going through. Y'all know I was gone off of social media for about three months and I have to tell y'all what I've experienced. Good things, y'all. Good things that I have experienced. I already told y'all like some of my trials and tribulations and all that. I talked about that y'all, but God is so good, y'all. Even even through our trials, y'all. Even through our trials, He is amazing because even through our trials, He's teaching us, He's molding us, shaping us, shaping our characters, and all that good stuff. So yeah, y'all, we about to get right into this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, let me give y'all my little testimony, okay? Not a little big testimony. So y'all. Y'all know that I talked to y'all and told y'all about what I was going through, about, you know, I didn't have a job and stuff was just breaking around my house, y'all. It was just stuff on top of stuff. I couldn't get DJ and daycare and da 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 da. It was just a whole lot going on, y'all. So I'm gonna take it all the way back for my new subscribers. First of all, y'all, I am a single mom of for god told me to move and relocate to alabama he placed alabama on my heart y'all can go back and watch my older videos i talked about how god told me to move to alabama i just talked about my whole journey y'all so god um placed it on my heart to move to alabama and when i first moved here y'all i was without a job for three whole months the whole three months that i was without a job god paid my bills y'all he literally made a way he paid all my bills then he finally blessed me with the job and i worked that job for about eight months and then god wanted me to quit that job but i didn't want to quit y'all i did not want to quit because i'm like i got bills to pay and i didn't listen i didn't listen and i ended up getting let go of my job i might do a video on that y'all it was all god y'all so then he blessed me with another job that i was not trying to work at all because baby i was just not interested because of the description of the job like i never did stuff like that and i never was interested in doing stuff like that but anyways it was like the only thing available so i took that job and then come to find out i couldn't work that job anymore because i had to put dj in daycare so the first job he blessed me with was a work from home job so i didn't have to worry about daycare the second job he blessed me with I would have to put DJ in daycare, which y'all was a whole mess with the daycare situation. So I couldn't work that job. So now I'm out of work, y'all. So that job ended around like the beginning of October, I want to say. Maybe like around October 4th or 3rd, something like that, y'all. So that job ended the beginning of October. And y'all know your girl got rent, okay? I already told y'all, my rent is over a thousand dollars okay i'm not on section a i don't get renter's assistance i don't get i don't get no help with my rent okay i don't get nothing all i get is food stamps that's all i get is food stamps y'all i don't get no type of government help for my rent to pay my rent and my rent is over a thousand dollars over a thousand dollars so my job ended like the beginning of october and y'all i don't have the money to pay my rent i'm being real honest with y'all like but in the process, God been blessing me with the funds to pay. Like, y'all, I never went a day with my um, lights being turned off. I never went a day with my internet being turned off or my phone bill. Or, like, he's just been blessing me. Like, just blessing me through people, of course. Like, it's been times where people would just send me money out of nowhere and I don't have to ask for anything. Like, people would just send me money out of nowhere. So he will bless me and through people, but he also, y'all, supernaturally blesses me. Of course, he uses people to bless us, but y'all, he blessed me in a way that I have not ever experienced him. And I prayed for this, y'all. I literally prayed for this. Y'all, I couldn't pay my rent. I'm being honest with y'all. I couldn't pay my rent, y'all. The Lord sent the letter in the mail to me about my rent this was before christmas and let me tell y'all so i received a letter from my landlord regarding my rent i still had peace like i never really worried about 
my bills getting paid because when I first moved here, I was without a job for three months and God literally paid my, paid my rent. Like literally, I went to church one day, the pastor said that God told him to help me and he wrote me a check for over a thousand dollars. And I told y'all that story in one of my previous videos, but yeah, he wrote me a check for over a thousand dollars and I was able to pay my rent. Now this particular time, this was like right before Christmas, right before Christmas y'all. And my landlord sent a letter, to, a letter to me and I just got to praying. I prayed to God. I said, Lord, I want to see you supernaturally. Like, you know what I need. You know that I know you didn't bring me here because he told me to move y'all. And I'm like, Lord, I know you didn't bring me here and want me to move here and not help me. Y'all, excuse my kids. My kids in the background, they playing, whatever. But, um... I'm like, Lord, I know you didn't move me here. Bring me all this way, 600 miles away from my family, to leave me. The Bible says that he will not leave nor forsake us. He will not leave nor forsake us. And he's the good shepherd. He only wants the best for us. And he wants to give us a life of abundance. So he's not going to leave us stranded, y'all, at all. He's not going to leave us stranded and, and all of that. If he, If we're truly... If we are truly walking and doing what he tells us to do, going to the places where he tells us to go, he got us. Provision is there. Protection is there. All of that is there. His favor is there. So, let me say this, y'all. So, I prayed and I'm like, Lord, I know you didn't send me all this way, you know, to leave me. I know you didn't send me all this way and bless me with this apartment, bless me with this place and not have the funds to to pay for it. Like, I know you didn't give me this so me and my kids or bring me here so me and my kids can be homeless and struggling and all of this. I know this is not you. I, I know you didn't do this, Lord. I know. I know you have the power to change my situation like that. You have the power, Lord. And I prayed and I said, Lord, I want to see you supernaturally this time. I want to see you in a way that I've never seen you before. This is what I told God. I'm like, Lord, I have seen you bless your children with homes that they didn't have the money for. I've seen you bless your children with cars that they didn't have the money for. And it's not about materialistic stuff, y'all. I just know God has the power to change our situation. Um, in his time, and of course, of course, we have to wait. He wants to build our character to where we are patient, okay? He wants us to be more patient. And he wants us to be humble. He don't want us, he don't want to give us something. Of course, he can bless us with all this stuff, but he don't want to bless us with a millions of dollars or a home or the, the car of our dreams when our character is not worked on. He don't want us, he don't want to give us all these things and then we leave him and we we don't remember him anymore. He will work on our character first before he give us desires of our heart. He wants to make sure that our heart is pure. You know, that we're not just so consumed with this stuff and these things of the world. But we truly love him. We truly have a heart for him. So I told him, I'm like, Lord, I've seen you supernaturally show up in, in some of your other children's lives. Like you supernaturally, literally like changed their lives and showed up in their lives. And I want to see you supernaturally. That's what I pray. I don't know if it was hours after I prayed that or a day later, but I know it was no more than a day later. Um, after I prayed that, y'all, I called the office. I called the office, my landlord's office. I called the office about the letter, asking them about the letter and, you know, about my rent. And I talked about the letter, y'all, and, the, and she, the lady cut me off. She cut me off. She said, she said your rent's been paid up it's been paid all the way up until next year this was in december y'all before christmas i said wait i said wait i said what i said wait i said this is my name i said wait my name is i said you sure i said my name is i told her my full name i'm like you sure like check again like check again i said apartment number wait did you get the, the do you have the right apartment number she said, your rent has been paid up until next year. Your rent has been paid up. I said, wait, um, I said, by who? By who? I said, who? She said, I don't know. She said, but Merry Christmas. She said, I don't know, but Merry Christmas. 
y'all after that y'all i said well, no i was still talking to her i said oh my goodness i said i have to thank god i said i gotta go thank god she said yes she said yes i cried i screamed y'all i was crying i was praying i was talking to god i was running around my house running jumping around my house crying talking to god all of that y'all like he completely blew my mind. Y'all can go back to one of my community posts when I say God has been blowing my mind. He completely blew my mind. Blew my mind, y'all. Blew my mind out of the clouds. Like, blew my mind. And at that point, it's like, there's no reason to doubt. Like, do not doubt God. Don't doubt God, y'all. Do not doubt him. So, and let me tell you, that was, they probably put up a good $6,000 or so. Maybe like $6,000 towards my rent. Five or $6,000 towards my rent, y'all. And he's just been blessing me. Like, he's been blessing me. And y'all seen it for y'all selves. Y'all seen me being vulnerable to y'all and telling y'all my story of how I didn't I could no longer work no more literally I was stuck I my back was against the wall because it's like I can't work I can't leave my child home alone and go work a job then my car broke down y'all my car broke down so it's like my back is against the wall my car broke down um I was without a job um I couldn't go to work because I have to be home and watch my kids I don't I am in a new location I'm in a new location I don't have no family where I can drop off my, my kid to somebody can watch my child. I'm in a new location, so all of these things are up against me. My back is against the wall, but I trusted in God, y'all. I put my faith in Jesus Christ. I put my faith in God, y'all. So, And there was a lot of people saying, oh, girl, you should never move. You should never did this. I did what God told me to do. And I told y'all go back to my old community post. I told y'all. He put me in a position to where he's going to show himself through me, through my situation. He's showing that everything is possible. He's showing that you don't need nobody but him. You don't need anyone but him. He is all that you need. He's showing that through me. I have no family here. I have no one here. But I've been relying on God, I've been relying on Jesus Christ, y'all. Because we have to go through him in order to get to the Father. I've been relying on Jesus Christ, y'all. I've been relying on him, okay? I've been relying on him. And he's, y'all see, I'm still in this apartment. Do y'all see that? I'm still in this apartment. People say, girl, you should never move with four kids. You should never did this. You should never did that. You should never move with four kids. You should never did. But God told me to move. I'm not here to please I'm not here to listen to what humans on this earth got to say. I'm going to do what God told me to do. He told me to move, y'all. I moved and he's been providing. I'm just allowing y'all to get a glimpse of this journey that I'm on, single mama four, and God told me to move. He told me to move. I moved and I'm following his voice, y'all. I may not always get it right because sometimes he may have to redirect me, reroute me. But I'm trying, I'm trying to allow him to direct my path and order my steps. So yeah, but that's my testimony, y'all. I hope this testimony encouraged y'all out there to have faith and to not be afraid. Because I know it's a lot of y'all single moms want to move and relocate. And God is putting it on y'all to move, relocate, pray, seek him on where he wants y'all to go. But don't be afraid because we're... Y'all, my kids finna get extra loud because they right by my door. But don't be afraid because wherever he sends you, there is provision, there is protection. He's been showing me like, because I fear something happens to my kids. But he's like, Nisha, I'm not finna move you nowhere and something happens to your kids. Y'all, I have some stories, okay, where I thought some stuff happened to my child. And y'all, I was so scared, y'all. But that was a test. God is going to send us through tests to see where our faith is at. And y'all, he's been sending me through a lot of tests, y'all. But he's really been testing me with like, okay, you should trust me with your kids. I have it. I got them. I'm not going to send you somewhere and then something happened to your kids. But anyways, y'all, that is it for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Now I'm going to go enjoy 
some playtime with my kids. We about to go outside. They finna ride their skates. And they got an electric scooter. My son got an electric, electric scooter for Christmas. So he finna ride that. My kids got skates and stuff. So they finna ride their skates. And DJ wanna drive his little car. Y'all, he got him a little police car. So he wanna drive his car outside. So we finna go outside and have some fun or whatever. And that's it for this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Oh, how I've been. Without you